Hey guys, it's Anne and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a squishy makeover. I'm going to be turning this watermelon squishy into a bowl of Fruit Loops. So I thought this was a really clever idea and yeah, I'm gonna show you how I did it. I got this watermelon squishy from Target. It was in the front Target dollar spot and my squishy makeovers are inspired by Mariah Elizabeth. She's where I got the idea to do squishy makeovers. So you should go check out her videos. So the first thing I did is I sanded the squishy off camera and you just want to have a nice rough surface so that the paint will stick to the surface of the squishy. If it's too smooth, sometimes it won't stick right. Then I cut the bottom of it and I kind of regret doing this, but I did it so it would look like a bowl shape because a bowl would be more flat on the bottom but it already like stood up that way and this is the bottom so you don't really see it so it's fine whenever you cut something off of your squishy you want to cover it in slick fabric paint because otherwise there's too much foam sticking out i don't really know why i just know you're supposed to do it so now i'm making my bowl cover bowl so now I'm making my bowl color. I mixed matte white fabric paint with some slick blue paint. So I had a nice little layer of that down. And then I went in with another coat. The bottom looks so lumpy that's why I wish I hadn't have done it but again you're not really gonna see it so it's fine we did another coat of that flipped it over and painted a white layer with some white slick paint and that was very sheer and did not cover much of nothing. So then I decided that I should use the matte white paint because I think that that covers a little bit better and then I used too much so I had to scrape some of it off. background change this is when I painted my table so if you haven't seen that video go check that out and so there was a little bit of time in between me filming it and somehow these cracks all of a sudden formed in this squishy don't know how because I didn't really like squish it but that happened so here comes for the fun part the fruit loops so what I did with this is I just took the back of a paint spongy thing and dipped it in paint and then just did lots of little dots all around and then after the color dots dry I'm gonna take a smaller paintbrush and fill in the center so some of the fruit loops should be like a full circle some of them should just be like you'd see just half of it like some of them would be on their side some of them would be floating straight up so i wanted it to be very random like it's a bowl of fruit loops it's not perfect and fruit loops are rainbow so that was fun I would just dip the stick in the paint and then take a tiny paintbrush and kind of smooth it all out because it would have like a weird bump when I first did it if you notice and then I'll just smooth it all out and then just take a little bit of paint for my little stripes. This is 
what it's looking like. I thought it was looking pretty good. So now I'm taking my smallest paintbrush and dipping the back of it. I find that it's really easy to make circles and dots and such like that with the back of a paintbrush. It's just like a dotting tool. So if you don't have a dotting tool, this works perfect. So for all of my circles, I just made a smaller white circle in the center of them. part of the fruit loop part I then went over the bowl edges with a blue again because there got some white on the outside of it so I cleaned that up I took a super tiny paintbrush and made the rim of the bowl to make it look a little bit more realistic. And I just went all the way around the bowl and painted the rim. I just used that same color for the outside. And went very slowly. And that's my Fruit Loop squishy. I really like how it turned out. I did like the watermelon, but I think this looks super cool. I poke some holes in it so that it squishes a little bit better. There are some cracks in it. I don't know what's up with that. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give it a like. Think about subscribing. Until next time. Bye.